Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to set a work profile on Android. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. Now the first thing that you want to do here is we first want to access our settings. So go ahead and open up settings. And from here, you want to scroll down a bit until you see the section for Google and accounts and sync. So before for older models for Android, you could go ahead and go to accounts and sync here and just need to click on the very bottom here that says add account and you need to choose Google here. So that's for the old setting for setting up your work profile. But as of this moment, the latest mobile applications are the latest version for Android right now. For us to actually set up our profile, we need to go back here into our settings and we need to access the Google option there instead of the accounts and sync. Now here, just click on Google. And from here, when you scroll down a bit, you'll see a section that says set up and restore. So here, just click on set up and restore. And from here, you want to click on set up your work profile. Just click on that. And from here, it's going to give you a few information about set up your work profile. But for now, let's just click on next. Now from here, it's going to start downloading the additional resources for this one. So let's just wait for this one. Now in here, it's going to ask for permissions to, uh, to take pictures and vid record videos. Just click on allow. And from here, you'll be able to scan the code that is provided by your IT admin. So if you don't have a uh, photo or you don't want to uh, take a photo for this one or take a video, you could either enter the code manually. Just click on enter code manually. And from here, you'll be able to enter the code yourself and just click on next. And that's how you set up your work profile on Android. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.